Another high-profile attack in San Francisco, only adding to the city's image problem. A former fire commissioner is recovering tonight after being brutally beaten right in front of his mother's home in the marina. Our Da Lin heard from the man's family members today. Witnesses tell me the attack happened at this corner of Magnolia and Laguna Streets. They say the victim tried to get away and ran toward Lumbar Street, but they say the suspect kept following and beating him. A witness shared the cell phone video. He says this is the suspect who beat victim Don Carmignani with a metal pipe. He beat them brutally. People were, I, I was screaming, stop, stop, stop. I was upstairs. People were recording, but I think people are afraid because they don't know what these people have on them. The witness, who fears for his own safety, says the suspect walked away after the attack. Family and friends identify the victim as 53-year-old Don Carmignani, seen here in a radio show last October. He's a lifelong San Francisco resident, a former fire commissioner, and a businessman. My parents live in the house that my grandfather built. I built the house next door. I got, a, I got two beautiful kids. He's fighting. He's fighting, and he's angry. Um, he, uh, I just came from the hospital uh, and I spent uh, an hour with him and he's, he's angry. Joe Alioto Veronese is a civil rights attorney and a longtime friend of Don. He says Don had head surgery on Thursday. The victim's family tells me Don has a fractured skull, a broken jaw, and cuts on the head and face that required 51 stitches. This is not a homeless issue. This is now a criminal issue and it's a mental health issue. And that is, is, is how we're not seeing this issue. Joe says it started with a few homeless people sleeping in front of Don's parents' house on Magnolia Street and blocking their front door. He says Don asked those people to move and at least one person later attacked him. It was Wednesday evening around 730. Police arrested one suspect, 24-year-old Garrett Doty. Many neighbors are upset that police did not detain the other homeless people who were with the suspect. We no longer feel safe in San Francisco. We expect our police to keep us safe, but frankly, they're just driving around in their vehicles with their hands tied behind their backs because of the policies that are, that are being passed down at City Hall. Joe and many Marina District neighbors demand better policies and safer streets. We're all living in this petri dish of mental health because the city's not dealing with it. So it's like, the insane asylum is our neighborhood, and that's what's become of San Francisco. I'm from the East Coast. I moved here because I love this city, and uh, it's becoming more and more uh, disturbing to, li to live here. I talked to the victim's father. He declined an interview, but the father tells me Don has a long recovery process. The father says he plans to sell the house and leave San Francisco.